Cole Fogel here on Wes Davies channel. Uh, this is the first time when we've tried this. Wes is gonna videotape me on his video trying out the foods and then vice versa, go to my channel and you can check out Wes's reaction on my channel. So it's kind of like YouTube swapping day. We are at the Shi Yilong and basically we are having a Baozi PK adventure today. And one thing that Wes always does correctly that I often forget, you need to have the correct sauce. So I've got some soy sauce, some ginger, a mild spice, and that's about it. Wes is more into the spicy foods, so if you want to check out his reaction, go to my channel and I don't know about this. Yeah, but yeah, no, this is gonna be nice. So I was told that you are supposed to put it on your spoon and you're supposed to poke it. I was hoping that it would get like, it was, it was gonna like liquefy, but oh, here we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just wanna get a little bit of that spice in there. A little piece of ginger, which is good. This is what you call the perfect bite. Without further ado, Oh, pet lava. Oh, it's quite spicy. Um, I like the combination of the juices and the meat. It's it's very like it's tender. And it's kind of like if you were to have a spoonful of soup and a dumpling mixed together. I mean, obviously that's with the tongue bao <laughs> soup dumpling. Very observant, Cole. It's kind of like. A soup dumpling. It's kind of like a soup dumpling. Um, so what I'm gonna say is the sauce had a real kick to it. I'm gonna give this like, I wanna say like an eight out of 10. Woman's Eye Xiao Bao Pu, which is basically a Hong Kong style pork bun. I mean, I think those are black sesame seeds and look, it's just very, I don't know, QQ. I kind of want to break it so you can see the inside here. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. Oh, can you just see the steam coming out of there? Just kind of get a little bite. Oh, oh my God. The flavor just literally hits your taste buds immediately. Some chives in there and some pork. The sauce just melts in your mouth when you put when you take a bite of that. Mmm. And the baozi marries to the meat so well. I'm gonna try the hot sauce. Take a how how chill they were there. Oh, yeah. It's very hot. It's very hot. Taiwan would always say it's very hot, but I think it's hot. He's saying a little bit spicy. Okay, I trust you, I trust you. Here we go. Mmm! Because when I tried it without the sauce, it already had a very intense flavor, but with the sauce, it's kind of sweet, sour, a little bit spicy, a little bit salty. It's like every, it like hits every, it hits like every denomination, pretty much. What did I give the other place? I gave it an eight, eight. out of 10. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. Oh. Yeah, and I wanna add, yeah, Ziga Henhao. Yeah, I wanna add a little bit, like, look at that. Look at the, oh, gorgeous. For me to add hot sauce, that says a lot. So yeah, no, this is bottoms up right there. Mmm. I feel like a rabbit. You have the rabbit. Just let's go. Yeah, let's go. Oh my god. I'm a, I'm alive right now. Like roll bao might be on the list of some of my favorite Taiwanese foods now. Nine out of ten. I literally felt like jumping like a rabbit. Forget about it. What can I say? Just <laughs> amazing. I kinda wanna just... <laughs> oh, look at that! Mm. Oh my god. So good. How good? Taiwanese with their red sauces. Great.
I'm feeling very overwhelmed. So we were supposed to be getting a cho dofu, but they're out of that. But now that I see the variety of baozi they have here, who cares? I mean, I'll come back for cho dofu another time. The sauce looks amazing. I think I'm gonna start with the mala. Oh my God. Okay, so can you just, do you wanna just, you see that in there? Oh yeah. Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is overwhelming. I actually don't feel like this one needs sauce. So I'm gonna eat it like this. Oh my god. Honestly, there, oh, shishini. It's like a mala hao chi, the lao ban here. You don't even, I never need to go for like mala mian or any, like I literally can get the essence in one of these baozis here. I'm like literally reaching for another one, but I have all these other ones to try here. The mala tastes like mala, and it literally tastes like I just ate a giant bowl of mala in one bite, if that's a way to describe it. It's got an amazing mala flavor. I mean, I don't know what else I can say about it other than hao chi. It's not like the la jiao kind of spice where my face feels like it's gonna fall off. So. <laughs> It's really good. I'm gonna go in, I wanna go with the galley next, the curry. Each one just has just the right amount of liquid in it too. Like it's not over the top. I'll be honest, I don't think I wanna add sauce to this one either. Right now I'm feeling like I wanna galley it up. If you've ever had like a bowl of just the white rice with the yellow galley, like you know, like a curry chicken rice, like I feel like you could literally explore the flavors of the world through these baozi. So far, I can't even say the mala and the curry, like I can't say which one's better. I'm actually loving both of them. The meat is tender and juicy. It, you have like a tiny little bit of broth at the end of each bite to wash it down and it's succulent. It's weird that we don't really have these in Canada. I mean, we have dim sum, but can you imagine how popular this would be? Like would be so popular. Baozi of the world. And then just to top it off, it's fried in this like flour water. Pan fried, not deep fried, which I prefer. The best? I think that's my favorite just because the crispiness from the, from the fry, it's like I'm having a little thing of soup in each bite, like literally. I don't know what to do here. I feel like literally I have a Dalo in front of me. I literally it's like an apartment building. Have of, an apartment complex of Mianbao. Of Mianbao in front of me. Of, of Baozi. <laughs> Let's just start here. You ready? Yeah. Oh my god, my hand is. Oh, Careful. Oh. Oh, beautiful. Chocolate. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, good lord. Be careful with that. Are you ready for this? Yeah, don't burn yourself. I love the Lao Ben's watching us right now, which makes me happy, you know, he's appreciating us appreciating his food. <laughs> so we've got, yeah, a mocha, chocolate. I mean, how do I describe it? Like ooey gooey, chocolatey goodness. Just the right thing for a yummy, yummy treat. I just made a rhyme there. It's not too sweet, just the right thing for a yummy, yummy treat. You got chocolate, you got mocha, you got happiness from my heart to you. One of them is Jenchu Nai Cha. This one. Oh my gosh. That's oh crazy. My God. Look at the heat coming out of there, honestly. What she want, Jenchu Naicha? What she want, Baozi? What she want, Jenchu Naicha? Best of both worlds. Oh, that is lovely. Um, it tastes like Jenchu Naicha. That's the best way I can describe it. All right, Wes, I'll see you later, okay? Bye, Wes. See you later. See you, man. Anyway, Wes Davies just wanted to pop in here at the end. Cole, great job, man. Dude, that was exciting, like yeah. switching, kind of kind of switching channels today. Channel takeover. What was your favorite thing that you had today? Oh my god. I really liked the mala tangbao. That was really good. Yeah, the mala, the curry, and then the, the gen chocolate. The chocolate, the gentu naicha. Yeah. So I, I enjoyed the last place because he was very turbia, very special. Yeah. That was the most unique stuff we had today. And we should say thank you to all the, the Laobans today. Everyone was super friendly to and, us. And Laobanians. And Laobanians. Yeah. Is that female Lauban? I think so, yeah. Laobanian, Laobanian. Oh, okay. Thank you for watching Wes Davies' channel. I'm Cole Fogel on A Healthy Balance. Go check out Cole's channel. He's got tons of great content all about Taiwan. Uh, you've got a young family, you do a lot of hiking stuff, exploring, kind of similar to what I do. I'm out but, and about, we're busy guys, I think. But I think you have like a really unique take on the films that you do, like, as you said, more about a healthy balance. Please go over to Wes Davies, join his membership. Oh yeah. 
for behind the scenes. Yeah, we post we, we filmed a little membership only video yeah. about 10 minutes over there. So and behind the scenes and there's not yeah. as much pressure. So please go there, join his membership, hit the bell, hit the like, subscribe if you haven't already. It motivates us to make more videos. This is the most excited I've been all night. Check me out on Instagram, West of the Sun, and check me out on Instagram, Cole Fogel. It's easy. Facebook, Cole Fogel. YouTube, Cole Fogel. Instagram, Cole Fogel. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Catch you next time.